what is up guys all right so i know a lot of you are struggling and still deciding on what to get for your free six star selection ticket all right so i'm going to help you to make a decision and i have decided to make this video and everything you hear in this video is sort of like my opinion and of course different people will have different opinions and that's fine so if there's anything that you will disagree with me about you can feel free to leave it in the comment section below all right so with that being said let's have a look at our options so there are a lot of uh, six star sets out there that you can get and yeah most of you are struggling to get you know like which one to get man like all oh, so difficult so hard to decide all right first things first ask yourself what is the content in the game that you play and you enjoy playing the most all right is it tower of dawn do you like the tower of dawn normal hard and you're having difficulty going through tower of dawn hell or do you play Battle of Honor, uh, Battle of Honor a lot? You know, BOH, or you are just a guild rates kind of person, okay? Or you don't really care that much. You just play it for the story, and you know it's more for general content. So we're gonna look at those aspects, like in general, and I will tell you what sets are good for what content. All right. So let's start off with Tower of Dawn Hell. Alright, so I have never finished Tower of Dawn Hell. I've never reached floor 127. But I have tried uh, every single month's Tower of Dawn Hell. And I've gotten stuck enough to know what sets would help me uh, get through certain floors at each month. If I have them, I would have gotten through that particular floor you know there's always a wall for me so i would say uh, omniscient and omnipotent the omni set is definitely one of the most crucial sets you can get for tower of dawn hell so don't care about clients angel's knight can be useful as well uh, not because of the attack but because of the hp in certain occasions you need your tank to be extremely extremely tanky and that 21,480 HP yeah that's where it shines you know so um, I'm not too sure of unprecedented it seems more like a battle of honor set or a guild raid set so mm, but I would say <coughs> it's one of the best uh, slot 5 6 star set that you can actually get alright going on to slot 4 ghost tap extremely useful in tower of dawn hell uh, there are certain flaws which you would definitely benefit from having that move extra movement alright same goes for <coughs> pathfinder maybe not as much I would say uh, this would have less priority than ghost tap in tower of dawn hell uh, Defender of the Earth, yeah, definitely. Also, uh, one of the more useful sets for your tanks in Tower of Dawn Hell. There will be certain flaws where you actually need a very, very tanky hero. And let's see. I would say strategy support system as well. Uh, there are certain flaws where you can you need to cast certain spells on your allies and by that you can recover 12% HP very useful for Tower Dawn Hell as well but uh, probably put that on a lower priority put Omni on your main priority alright let's see what else do we have <laughs> obviously Taunting Busybody also extremely useful for Tower of Dawn Hell uh, the aggro, the increased defense every time you use a skill Every time the character uses a skill on enemies And it stacks up to 1600 defense Yeah, that's a lot, I know 
yeah so definitely one of the main useful sets in Tower of Dawn the Immortal definitely uh, can be comboed with the Ghost Step set definitely very useful in Tower of Dawn Hell as well so for one star set uh, I would say uh, Iron Fist is more of a Battle of Honor set I don't think you really need counter in Tower of Dawn Hell but in certain occasions yeah you get you get to cheese some strat out but I would say unassailable and Slime King are definitely much more useful for Tower of Dawn Hell over Iron Fist so that goes for slot 1 alright so I'm gonna repeat again unassailable Slime King the Immortal Taunting Busybody Strategy Support System Defender of the Earth Ghost Tap Angel Knight and the Omni Set Alright, so these are all extremely extremely useful in Tower of Dawn Hell So priority should be given to slot 5 obviously So put your priority on Omni and Angel's Knight So if you have these two sets, then fine You can start thinking like which would benefit you the most I would say Ghost Tap is quite useful uh, in both Tower of Dawn and Battle of Honor So you might want to get something that you can use in multiple uh, modes of the game Alright, so same goes for <coughs> excuse me. Same goes for the immortal as well. Definitely, the move through enemies extremely useful in both Tower of Dawn Hell and Battle of Honor. Alright, so with that being said, said let's go through. Let's check out for Battle of Honor. Alright, so if you are a person that focuses on Battle of Honor a lot, you play BOH every week, you are the top 100, top, top how many percent, yeah. So the sets that you want to focus on are Angel Knight, number one. So I will put Angel Knight on, obviously on the most top of the priority. <coughs> Eldrikas and Kleins, um, they are not bad. They are not bad. They are quite good, <coughs> but their versatility is holding them back. Uh, they are restricted to certain type of characters only. So as opposed to Angel Knight, which you can put on to whoever you want to. So definitely, Angel Knight definitely worth your investment if you play Battle for a lot. So same goes for unprecedented. All right, so this is definitely one of the most, uh, I think one of the strongest slot five uh, battle of honor sets you can get. Yeah, please, please don't get prisoner of every G hell. Uh, this set is just not worth it. Like uh, compared to the gold tiger set, like there's not much difference. You're better off getting that. Like don't waste your six star selection ticket on this. Alright, so either go for Unprecedented or Angel's Knight on the slot 5. Alright, so slot 4, I would say Ghost Tap. Pathfinder is pretty good as well. Tower of Dawn Guardian. Um, I think this is one of the best slot 4 uh, 6 star set that you can actually equip on your character. Um, only if they already have 100% crit rate, alright? If they do not have any crit rate, putting this set on them will reduce their crit rate even further. <coughs> so in that case, you are better off going for Pathfinder because it has a bow and a ring. So the Tower of Dawn Guardian does not provide any crit rate as, at all. If I'm not mistaken, it's a brooch, uh, mace and armor. Alright, obviously Defender of the Earth, uh, quite useful in Tower of Dawn as well although there's a restrictions there uh, that will only activate when there are two or two or more allies alive so that could affect you know your selection because of that specific requirements <coughs> so forgotten hitter number four definitely useful as well devil knight i would say yes and no uh, it's useful on offense but if 
on defense players can actually you know control their skills accordingly to not hit two units and things like that so i would say devil knight it's not a bad set but it's better for general content and guild raids <coughs> over over boh so for slot 4 specifically i will put ghost step on the top of priority followed by tower of dawn guardian <coughs> And then Pathfinder and Defender of the Earth on third. And Forgotten Heater as well. Alright, so Devil Knight, Elemental Knight, they are not too bad. Wisdom from the East, I guess this is a good set as well, but uh, you will only need one set in your team. And depending on what you have on, like, depending on what kind of setup you have, this might or might not be necessary at all. Alright, so I've seen people who, top players who did very well without having any sets that give buffs to the team on their Battle of Honor, uh, Battle of Honor team. So yeah, it depends on what you're really looking for. I would say <coughs> Wisdom of the East is more of a, a guild rate set. So Windwalker is good as well. Too bad it's restricted to balance type. And obviously, uh, the Beast Rain, definitely one of the best Tower of uh, Battle of Honor set you can get <coughs> for slot three. Same goes for Vermilion Birds Red Bloodline, but this is only restricted to attack type character, so Beast Rain is still better. Cuckoo Rangers Go definitely useful as well. So slot three is quite obvious. Uh, definitely go for Beast Rain if you do not have that. If you have that, uh, maybe you can consider Vermilion Birds Red Bloodline if you want to use an attack character in Battle of Honor, or you can consider the Cuckoo Rangers Go as well. So Slug 2, obviously, Desomir is the best for Battle of Honor, uh, no doubt about it. So that or Blue Dragon's Blessing, alright? So the Immortal is pretty good as well, but you need to combo this with sets like Ghost Tech for example, and I do not recommend this for beginners. But if you consider yourself intermediate or advanced player, then this could be good as well. The direction strategy advantage by 9%, yeah, that's a pretty good bonus besides uh, enabling you to move through the enemies. So, Poker Face Gambler, I would say pretty good. Um, you can win some battles occasionally, but you might be able to, you might lose some as well. So, there will be chance of the defense increase and attack increase not proccing at all throughout the entire battle and can cause you to lose the entire battle you know so yeah it's a gambling set you know what's coming if you choose this set you know and choose to equip it on your character well if you get that 40% chance then good for you but if you do not then too bad Alright, so Dasomir, definitely still the top. Dasomir and Blue Dragon's Blessing, definitely top pick for slot 2 if you are into Battle of Honor. So for slot 1, I would say Rebel Army Supply, uh, Death Blow, Night of the Dawn, and Iron Fist of the East. From the East. So obviously, I would put Iron Fist at the top. So this should be your main priority. The increased attack by 8% and critical damage by 5%, damn. Those are really really sweet buffs. So put those on a priority. So Death Blow and Night of the Dawn, you can choose this depending on who you are giving it to. So Death Blow is obviously restricted to attack type character only. While Night of the Dawn is more versatile. And of course, if uh, you have tanks, you might want to consider Slime King as well. Or Rebel Army Supply. Alright, so that is for Battle of Honor. So next we'll be looking at Guild Raids. Alright, so same goes. Iron Fist, definitely useful for Guild Raid. So Night of the Dawn and Death Blow, definitely useful as well. If you use Lee, you use um, <coughs> any attack type character, definitely one of the best you can get. So Slime King. 
for Friday's raid, yeah, you will want this. Definitely useful. Uh, Rebel Army Supply not as much as the rest. So for slot 2, I would say time for your shot. Definitely useful for guild raids. Taunting Busybody, uh, quite useful as well on maybe Sunday's raid and Monday if you are going for uh, the bell strat and possibly Friday as well. Let's see what else. Cuckoo Rangers Go, definitely one of the best sets you can get uh, besides Wisdom of the East of course if you are interested in guild raids alright so you should consider that <coughs> the buffs that the set is giving you is just incredible the attack by 25% and all allies attack by 5% that's not a joke man that's a lot uh, let's see what else do we have alright so obviously wisdom from the east so if you have 3 piece, it increases attack by 2100 for all allies. So definitely one of the best uh, buff set you can have for slot 4. So you can consider either this, Wisdom of the East, or the Cuckoo Rangers Go, if guild raids is your main concern of the game, you know? So for slot 4, definitely go for that, Wisdom of the East. But if you have already gotten that, I would put second priority in Defender of the Earth. Definitely uh, good for Sunday's raid. If you don't have that already. For slot 5, Unprecedented is pretty good for guild raids as well. If you can reach 100% crit rate. Angel's Knight is also pre pretty versatile. Alright, so that's it. We have covered... Tower of Dawn Hell, we have covered Battle of Honor, we have covered Guild Raid. So as I mentioned earlier, this is merely my opinion. And I've been playing this game for almost 2 years now. So I would say I'm quite experienced and I actually know, uh, I am familiar with all the aspects and contents of the game. So, <coughs> if you are looking into a more general content for example you don't really uh, focus on specific content like Tower of Dawn Hell uh, but you play all the contents in the game then I would recommend uh, Omni set Angel's Knight for slot 5 uh, these two should be a priority and Unprecedented obviously so these three should be a priority on slot 5 alright so I would say these three are the most versatile and one of the best sets you can get for slot 5 due to their no restriction, you know, they are not restricted to a defense type only or attack type only, stuff like that. Alright, slot 4, I would say. Um, let's see. Definitely Wisdom of the East, uh, from the East. Forgotten Hitter number 4. Man, it's hard to choose. I would say Forgotten Hitter, uh, Wisdom from the East should be your priority. Forgotten Hitter number 2, Devil Knight number 2, uh, and Defender of the Earth. Alright, so obviously Wisdom from the East should be your main slot for uh, set if you don't have anything else good on your slot 4. If you have that already, you can consider Devil Knight, Forgotten Hitter number 4, or Defender of the Earth. Alright, slot 3. Obviously, uh, Beast Rain, extremely useful. Cuckoo Rangers Go. So these two should be your main priority. Uh, the rest, you can stack it up depending on what you are looking uh, into playing more. I would recommend the Vermilion Birds Red Bloodline, but at the same time, the restrictions can limit the equipment's potential. So it's kind of hard to recommend that. So slot 2 wise, definitely Dust Soul set. And I would say Taunting Busybody. And Time for Your Shot and Blue Dragon's Blessing. So these are all quite uh, versatile. So the Immortal 
It's good, but I wouldn't recommend this for beginners. It's not a good set if you don't know what you are doing, you know. So some people might say that direction strategy advantage by 9%. It's not that much, but it's actually quite a lot. Alright, so you can consider that as well. <coughs> Same goes for the Poker Fixed Gambler. So this set, definitely a gambling set, but I've heard that it's very useful in uh, guild raids. I do not own this set, I've never tried it before, but I would love to one day. Uh, definitely, I'm not going to choose this in my current selection ticket. So slot 1 wise, I would say... Uh, Iron Fist should be the best set to choose for slot 1. If you don't know what else to pick, if you already have that set, you can consider Night of the Dawn, Slime King... Yeah, Night of the Dawn or Slime King. So depending on what you're going for, offense or defense. <coughs> Alright guys, um, that's it for the video. So I hope that I've opened up your minds and, you know, help you decide what you're actually looking for in getting the, in using your set selection ticket, 6 star set selection ticket. So let me know if you, uh, what sets do you pick and if you actually find this guide useful, I'd love to hear it from you guys. <laughs> Alright, so hope you enjoyed the brief video, uh, it's not too brief, it's actually quite long. But yeah, uh, feel free to give this video a like if you like it and you can comment in the section below and let me know what you actually got. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video, that's it for now, bye!